Yo, what's going on guys? Firebrenner here, and I'm back here again with another tutorial for you guys. Uh, you guys have been loving the tutorials, and this has been something that you guys have been requesting a good amount in the comments. Uh, so basically, we're going to be going over how to dribble properly. And in this video, I'm pretty much going to be going over the basics, like literally the very beginner basics of how to dribble for you guys that are new to the game, as well as then going over more of the more advanced parts of dribbling, such as like how to consistently flick properly, among some other stuff. And especially with how dribble heavy the meta is right now, this is definitely something that you guys are going to want to master going forward. Uh, but yeah, anyways, enough of me talking, and let's just get straight into the tutorial. Alright, so first thing I want to be doing, uh, since I'm starting off with the very basics, um, pretty much the first step you want to be taking if you guys are new to dribbling is knowing how to pick up the ball from the ground and being able to carry it on the roof of your car for as long as possible. Uh, so what a lot of new players do uh, when they're trying to learn how to dribble, they'll do this, right? You just spawn into free play, the ball's in the middle, and they'll just kind of drive into it, right? Like this, and pick it up like that, which is fine, right? Or they try to practice like that, which is okay. But the only thing is, is that the ball, in an actual game, the ball's not going to just be chilling like that at a standstill as it is right now for you guys to chip up. Most of the time, it's going to be, the ball's going to be rolling in front of you, rolling next to you, and you're going to want to know how to pick up the ball so you can transition that into a dribble, right? So if it's in front of you and you just drive into it, you're just tapping it forward pretty much. Uh, so the way to do that, ball, say the ball's rolling in front of you, what you want to do is you want to come across the ball, like I'm about to do here, and then hook into it, right? So if you do that, and then boost while you're hooking into it, as soon as you're about to hit the ball, so like this, right? So then like that, it's more of a smooth transition onto the roof of your car. Like that. Pretty easy. Doesn't go too far, and it's not too close, and it should land perfectly on the roof of your car. Now, another thing that you could do while learning how to do this, or practicing this, is looking at the ball outline. Not necessarily the ball, but the actual outline on the ground, if you guys see it. Um, that helped me a lot when I very first started the game. Um, like this, right? You just kind of line your car up underneath the outline of the ball, and then the ball just kind of settles on the roof of your car very, very easily. So this is the very first thing you guys should be doing if you guys are learning how to dribble, like from scratch pretty much, is knowing how to pick up the ball when the ball's like kind of in front of you. So you once again, you go across the ball, boost into it as you're turning into it, and then look at the outline, and then just line up your car underneath the ball. And you'll be able to put the ball, at least have the ball land on the roof of your car. Okay, so now that the ball's on top of your car, right, and the next thing is keeping the ball on the roof of your car, like this. Um, so now how to do this is pretty easy. Not e Well, I shouldn't say it's too easy. It takes practice, I should say, right? So a lot of people, what I, uh, I think they struggle with like kind of, you know, maintaining control. Now, if you guys are looking at my overlay, my controller overlay that I got set up, um, if you guys notice, I'm actually tapping accelerate, right? I'm not holding it the entire time. So you basically just want to ma match the ball speed with your car. So instead of holding accelerate the entire time or, you know, incorporating brake, what I always do is I just literally just feather the accelerate button over and over again and then make sure that the ball is kind of not too far behind me right like this you kind of want to have it near the windshield of the car oh, i'm on dominus i think octane you want to have it kind of near the top of the car but since i'm on dom uh i keep it mostly near the windshield and you kind of just want to keep it there for as long as possible so once you guys kind of have the idea how to do this uh you want to learn how to basically what i'm doing is changing the direction of the ball while the ball's still on the roof of my car so just tapping accelerate while turning obviously you can ta uh, incorporate a brake here and every now and then but the main thing is you want to just learn how to do it with just tapping accelerate and then you know you can boost a little bit like that you know but basically just want to keep the ball on the roof of your car and then make sure it's not bouncing basically you want to learn how to do that very important that you're able to learn how to do it with while the ball is just completely settled on your car and not like doing this right like that you don't want the ball to be like kind of jiggling on, on the top of your car because then you guys will see later what i'm talking about but that's actually very important you don't want the ball to be unsettled you want it to keep staying nice and flat like this and then do this for as long as you can in free play over and over again and you should be able to do it multiple times of just carrying the ball back and forth across the field 
All right, so now you guys know how to pick up the ball. Take that. Keep the ball in the hood of your car. And so the next thing that's important, obviously, is the flick, right? The most, basically the most important part of the dribble. Uh, how do you get the ball past someone? Now, there's a lot of different types of flicks. Obviously, there's the more advanced ones, the breezies. You got the musty flicks, all that stuff. Like, I'm not going to be going over the super advanced flicks. You guys, can, there's plenty of uh, videos on YouTube about those flicks. If you guys are interested in that. Uh, but I'm basically just here to teach you guys the fundamentals. And you don't need to know musties nor breezies to get the ball past someone. Especially if you guys are not, like, even at, like, the highest rank. You guys can, you can survive with knowing how to do a really good, consistent, like, uh, side flick or something like that, right? Or 45-degree flick. So... A big misconception I think people have, or a big problem people have when they dribble, right? So they have the ball like this. They know how to keep the ball on the roof of their car and everything. But then the flick happens, and then this will happen, right? So let me see. You do this, right? The ball kind of get away from them a little bit, or they'll do like a turbo flick, if you guys know what that is. Like, and the ball will kind of like get away from them, and they won't be able to like, like that, essentially, right? Well, you guys see, I lose control of my flick. The ball bounces away from me, and I just can't do the flick at all because the ball just I just lose complete control, right? So there's a couple of mistakes I'm doing um, basically on purpose there that's causing that to happen. So the first thing is you want to make sure before the flick happens or before you actually execute the flick is that the ball is settled completely, right? You don't want the ball to be bouncing at all. You don't want the ball to be like this, right? Like this before as you're flicking, right? Because now the ball's kind of out of control and you don't have complete possession of the ball as you're about to flick so you want the ball to be completely settled like this and then as you're jumping right this is another part of it as you're jumping you want to make sure that you single or you kind of tap on the first jump and then flick on the second so but what i mean by that right so if i have the ball or if, let me actually show you guys something so if i jump right normally if i hold x or for me it's x if I don't know if you guys are ISO's A, right? If I hold it, I'll jump like that pretty high, right? The longer you hold the button or the longer you hold the jump button, the higher up in the air you're going to go. So that's the highest you're going to get, right? But if I were to tap X, see how my car kind of barely gets off the ground? Like a little, little, just like a skip, essentially, right? In comparison to this, big difference. So using that same concept to when you're dribbling or you're about to flick, if I hold X, right, you see how I kind of, I still have control, but it's just like not complete control. It's it's pretty easy for the ball to like kind of get away from me, right? I land and the ball is bouncing. Now, if I tap X, right, you see how like the ball doesn't, like that especially, you see how the ball is not getting away from me nearly as much, right? So I settle the ball. I tap X, see, like the ball's kind of like glued to me. And that's what you want on a flick. You want the ball to kind of be glued to your car as you're jumping up into the air. Like that, right? In comparison to if I hold, it's going to get away from me. Like that, you see? So, on the first jump of the flick, as you're flicking, or as you're flipping, you want to tap X, and then on the second one, it doesn't matter if you hold or tap. Uh, but make sure on that first one that you're tapping. So if this is a big issue of yours where the ball's getting away from you right really fast and there's especially because as you're tapping it you're able to execute the flick faster because if you hold right you do a little bit more of a delayed flick which is fine but it's a little bit more readable like that but you're going to generate more power so now to the next part i guess uh the different types of flicks um i've seen a lot of people or when i watch people like newer players I see a lot of people front flipping, and I can't stress this enough, guys. Like front flipping in Rock League really isn't that great in general for shooting, dribbling, movement. It's just not that great in general. So, kind of same thing applies to flicks. Um, one little, I guess, like um, not what's the word for it? Like disclaimer. It is okay with a flat car. I've noticed, like a Dominus, if you're front flipping like that if you're just trying to beat someone right if you're just trying to beat someone on defense and just flick it really high over them if you front flip it, it will get you a lot of like like that it will give you a lot of air time if you're just trying to flick it over someone but in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the keeper you don't really want to do this because it's kind of like see like that that's very savable 
and it's also kind of readable. It gives the other uh, the guy you're going up against a lot of time to react to it. So what you want to do, right? The thing I always uh, suggest to people is side flip, side flip or diagonal flip. But for me personally, I've always found the side flip to be super effective because it's really fast and it's hard to read, right? You can change directions on a dime. You can go right, left, right, left, depending on what you need uh, in the situation, right? Now, one thing about flicking that I've seen a lot of people uh, not really talk about is that if you hold air roll, right? Let's say, okay, so you see how I'm getting a good amount of power off of these side flip flicks, right? I'm making sure the ball settled on my car, tap, tap X, and then side flip as the ball's, uh, you know, as I'm jumping into the air like that, right? It's really quick flick. Dino flipping is good too, but it's a little bit, it's just more, mostly more on like getting, uh, what's it called? Height. But I always prefer the side flip the most, but Dino's also good too, depending on the situation. If you hold air roll, as you're flicking. So I'm gonna do one without holding air roll and you guys will see the difference. So this is me, no air roll, right? I'm not holding air roll during the flick. So you guys saw the amount of power. I'll do it one more time. It's time to the right. right. Pretty good. But if I hold air roll, I don't flip for it, but you see the amount of pop I get on the ball and amount of speed it generates. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but if you hold air roll during it like that, you see how it just pops off of my car. I just generate way more power on it than normal like that. So there's a give and take with this. I want to say like, you want to, you want to do this. Like if you're further away from goal, it's pretty good. Cause you're going to get like, it kind of like throws the ball off of your car. You don't want to do it when you're too close to goal. Cause I found myself doing it and then I'm just slammed the crossbar. Oh, I messed it up there. I did too too fast. Didn't let it settle. Right, like that. I'll do it too close to the goal, and then that'll happen. I'll get a nice flick, but then it's just way too much power. So if you guys are going to do the dribble with air roll, just make sure you're a little bit further out, so that way you're not hitting the crossbar. Another flick that also works really well for me, especially since I use a flat car, uh, but you can do this on Octane too, or any other car really. Uh, it's a 45 degree flick that I find that works really well, but this one is really important that the ball is for sure settled complete on your car. If it's bouncing even a little bit, it's going to be really hard to control. So what I want to do is I just want to have the ball right down the middle, essentially of my car near the windshield. And then as I'm settled, as I'm jumping up into the air, I turn right or left. I usually, uh, always point my car to the right as I'm flicking. But, so the ball settled, and then as I jump on my first one, I tilt my analog stick to the right, and then I side flip in the opposite direction. Or something like that. Do it one more time. Ball settled. Like that. And you see how much height and power I get on this flick. It's really effective, and it throws a lot of people off because they never expect the amount of power you're going to get on it. Uh, this is a little bit more advanced, but I just want to make, sh make sure uh, I go over it at least. So you guys can see how to do it if you guys are interested in learning that. All right, so now that we've gone over flicks, uh, how to catch it, all that good stuff, I also want to show you guys how to catch the ball, which is really important when it comes to dribbling, especially in how Rocket League is played nowadays. In-game scenarios, you're going to have to need to catch the ball when you want to maintain possession. So this is something that you guys all want to practice, even from any level. Uh, so I'm going to go to custom training. I'm also going to leave this pack in the description below so you guys can do it uh, by yourselves. Uh, so it's called Dribble Flick Playground by Weight Protein. And then you want to think, you can, I mean, this shot's not bad, but I want to show you guys a different one. Let me just skip ahead to it. All right, so here's a shot. Uh, it's shot nine. So in this shot, as you guys are seeing, what I, what I see a lot of people do when they're trying to catch the ball is that they'll run straight into the ball kind of like this, right? And then they'll get a super heavy touch that pops up really high in the air or sometimes too far away from them. And that's not what you want to do at all when it comes to, uh, to catching the ball. Uh, what you want to, is you want a nice little soft touch to yourself so where the ball doesn't get too far away from you. Like that kind of, right? And that wasn't the best. Maybe so more so like this, right? You see, it's a little pop, but I have control of it the entire way through. Let's show you guys one more time. Right. If you guys notice, I'm always breaking and I'm turning away from the ball if possible. 
So imagine it like it's an egg, right? If an egg's coming to you, right? If, it, if you remember like a game that everyone used to play, like in middle school and stuff like that, like a field day, if you guys know what I'm talking about, where you like kind of toss the egg back and forth with a teammate. When someone tosses you the egg, you're not going to want to just, you know, keep your hands still. You kind of just want to make your hands, make it seem like it's a glove and you cradle the ball as you're catching it, not necessarily you just, you know, just catching it straight up. So that's exactly the same thing with Rocket League, with the, this, right? You wanna cradle the ball onto your car. So how you do that is you wanna stop as much momentum of your car as possible, as well as like kind of pointing your car away from it a little bit, not entirely, but you just wanna point it away until it lands on your car and then you can face it forward again. So as you guys can see, okay, yeah, that, that was kind of a weird one like this, right? I stop my car, point away, and you guys see how it's like a slight pop, but I have complete control the whole time. One more time, all right, well, Fuck his mug, Curry, it's just kind of messing up. Like that, I stop my car, and then the ball just pops slightly, and then I can lead it into a flick. So the main thing is you want to cancel or remove as much of your car momentum as possible, so that way the car just doesn't bounce, or the ball just doesn't bounce off your car like this, right? If I keep most of my momentum and try to catch it, see, it's a heavy touch and I lose control. So you want to just get underneath it, stop your car as much as you can, point it away, and then it's an easy catch yeah boys that's basically gonna sum up the tutorial for me um i think i pretty much went over all the basics on how to dribble hopefully this guy this uh tutorial did help you guys a little bit if it did at all be sure to leave a like uh comment what you guys want to see me do next i know you guys have been really enjoying these tutorials and i appreciate all the support uh as i'm uploading this i think i'm close to 50k i think we're at like 49 point something i'm not too sure i have to double check but i appreciate you guys for all the support uh, leave me a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Definitely does help a lot. Be sure to sub if you guys want to see more videos like these. Or if you guys want to get alerted for it. You can always unsub whenever you want. Um, but yeah, also, I'm doing a giveaway on Twitter. So this video is going to go up on the 23rd. Literally tomorrow on Christmas Eve. I'm doing a Titanium White Octane giveaway on my Twitter. I'm going to leave the link to that in the bio below. My, uh, the description below. Uh, be sure to comment as well and on the, this video if you guys are entering it from there just so i know and yeah i hope you guys have a good a merry christmas if you guys are celebrating that and a happy new year and i'll catch you guys in the next video take care boys